Carnival Cruise Line has canceled yet another cruise. We're going to tell you about it coming right up. Virgin Voyages, the Scarlet Lady, has finished her UK sailing season and is now on her way back to the United States. We're going to give you all the updates on that. There's some new river cruising news that we need to cover about some new ships and some new routes that you can take in the United States. Plus, we have a Norwegian update for our European friends. All that coming up on Midships. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships YouTube channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and as you can see, we are no longer in the midship studio down in Central Florida. We are in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right, I am here working this week, so we're going to have a little bit shorter midships episodes, but you should see some awesome sights and sounds from a wonderful vacation destination in the background of my videos. Of course, we have all the cruise news that you need to know, but first things first, our giveaway ends tomorrow at noon Eastern time. That's right, we're gonna select the winner for our giveaway package. Now, of course, if you've not entered to win yet, go ahead and click the link in the description below, or I'm gonna actually pin it up in the upper right-hand corner of this video for those of you that watch on mobile. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the cruise news. We're gonna talk about Norwegian Cruise Line. So from cruisehive.com, Emery Thacker, fourth Norwegian cruise line ship resumes operations. Norwegian Cruise Lines continues with its phased-in return to service, with Norwegian Epic becoming the fourth ship in the fleet to resume operations. The vessel restarted out of Barcelona, Spain on September 5th. Norwegian Epic restarts operations. The cruise ship, operated by Norwegian Cruise Lines, begin, became the fourth in the fleet to restart operations and the second in the fleet to resume in Europe. Norwegian's Epic departed the port of Barcelona on September 5th, and this is the first time the ship has started cruises from the city since November of 2019. That would be pre-pandemic times. Norwegian Epic departed on a seven-night Mediterranean voyage that includes calls in Italy, Rome, Naples, Calgary, Sardinia, and Spain. The vessel will return to its home port on September 12th. The ship will continue to sail seven night cruises in the Mediterranean through October of 2021. This will also be the first time guests get to enjoy the newly refurbished Norwegian Epic. The ship underwent a dry dock in Marcel, France at the end of 2020. And as part of the upgrade, which resulted in 75 reimagined and upgraded suites, there is also a redesigned Haven restaurant, courtyard pool, and sun deck. So awesome news coming out from Norwegian for all of our European cruising friends. Now let's go ahead and hit some cruise news that's a little closer to home in the US. That's right, we're gonna talk about some river cruises. There's some really cool stuff going on on these river cruises. I know a lot of our midships family loves to cruise on river cruises. I've even seen comments from some of you that says, you've never actually been on an ocean cruise, you've only done river cruises. So really cool stuff. I personally have not been on a river cruise, but totally would do so. So let's go ahead and hop into an article from cruisecritic.com. This is by Aaron Saunders. American Cruise Line debuts longest river cruise in US waters, caters to demand for local travelers. Passengers embarked American Melody in Mississippi on Friday, which served as a replacement starting port for New Orleans because of the impact from Hurricane Ida. Stay tuned on that. We have Hurricane Ida news coming up, which includes a carnival cancellation. So do not click off the video quite yet. If you are enjoying this broadcast though, why don't you go ahead and uh, scroll down a little bit, hit that thumbs up button if you absolutely love cruising and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because on Friday we have a new giveaway coming out and you're gonna have to be subscribed to be a winner. So let's hop back into this article. Those sailing aboard the 175 passenger ship are being treated to a variety of inaugural events and special surprises, along with Mississippi inspired meals and beverages on board. It's a massive itinerary on a scale not typically seen on US rivers, which tend to be overshadowed by the likes of Europe's Danube, Rhine and Main River, the blockbuster players on the river cruising circuit. So for that, we're talking about like cruise lines like a Viking voyages. That's uh, those are the basically the main competitors to this cruise that we're talking about now. But in launching this extended Mississippi cruise, American Cruise Line is betting that more Americans will want to travel closer to home with COVID still complicating travel for Americans looking to go to Europe. 
and with looming uncertainty about entry requirements and of course the emergence of the Delta variant. And we have a quote here, longer itineraries have become increasingly popular, so we plan to offer more of them in different U.S. regions, said American Cruise Line's president, Charles Robertson. This extended itinerary gives our guests a rare, unique opportunity to explore the Mississippi River and 10 states in a single journey. So awesome news coming out from American Cruise Line. Tell me what you guys think about those river cruises. Is that something you'd be interested in taking? Go ahead and comment below what your opinions are. And maybe if you've been on a couple of river cruises, what was your favorite thing about them? That's, uh, I'm, that's a really unique and cool way to travel. It's such a, a romantic idea, just cruising down a river seeing the country just from the comfort of a, one of these fun river cruising ships. How awesome is that? Now let's talk about a big carnival cancellation that's coming up now. And we told you about this last week. We warned you that this was coming down the pipe. And like usual, here it is. So from NOLA.com by Anthony McCauley, Carnival says Glory Cruise Ship to be used to house first responders. Cancels cruise schedule. I'm sorry to have to report on this to all of you because I know we have midships viewers that are sailing or were supposed to be sailing on this Carnival Glory out of New Orleans. So Carnival Cruise Line said Tuesday that it has reached a deal with the city of New Orleans and FEMA to use the cruise ship Carnival Glory as temporary housing for first responders and other workers who are dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. The cruise line operator said that as a result, it had again postponed the planned restart of its weekly Caribbean cruises out of New Orleans, which now won't begin until September 19th. So that's 12 days from now. So this cruise that was scheduled to go out on, uh, I believe it's the 12th that we talked about, is now canceled. Y'all have the opportunity to go on the Carnival Vista out of Galveston, or you can go ahead and cancel and take cruise credit. Plus, I believe they're giving an extra 25% credit on top of this. So the ship's return to New Orleans homeport already had been delayed because of Ida, with Glory diverting to Mexican waters and spending several days there before making its way to the port of New Orleans September 3rd. Carnival already had canceled the initial sailing on, on September 5th. Carnival and other cruise lines operating from the port of New Orleans have had sailings suspended since March of 2020 because of the pandemic, dealing a severe blow to local tourism and the hospitality sector. And we have a quote here. While we want to provide the city of New Orleans with an economic boost by restarting guest operations, we want to first provide this critical housing support to address emergency needs and to get power restored to the region, said Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Line, in a statement. Carnival said it had been provisioning glory for the past few days so that it can accommodate up to 2,600 hospital workers, first responders, utility, and other emergency personnel. Many New Orleans hotels have become full up as tens of thousands of electricity linemen and related contractors, as well as medical relief workers, have come to the metro area, both to deal with the surge in COVID cases, as well as the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. The New Orleans hospitality sector has suffered billions of dollars of losses over the past 17 months as the pandemic has devastated both the leisure business and travel market. So we now know the restart date for Carnival Glory is set for September 19th. However, and this is a big however, we're not sure that Carnival's gonna be done with the Hurricane Ida relief for the Glory on the 19th. I think it's a safe bet that that cruise as well may also come out to be canceled. So if you are booked on the 19th cruise, you should call Carnival and see if you can go ahead and shift it over to something maybe out of Galveston or something out of a port from Florida and, and try to get them to go ahead and, uh, and kick in for a little bit maybe of airfare. If you have to pay to change your flight, they might be willing to do something like that because I'm sure they know this is about to happen and they're gonna have to pay you for this cancellation anyways. So go ahead and be proactive with this one and try to get ahead of any travel disruptions that you might experience. Now, there is a very unique cruise ship that is soon to be sailing out of Florida, and we're gonna tell you about it now. It actually should have been sailing already, but she had to divert over to Europe for a while. And that, of course, is Virgin Voyages and their beautiful ship, the Scarlet Lady. Let's read an article about that. From cruisehive.com by Robert McGilvery. Virgin Voyages, 
Virgin Voyages cruise ship completes season in the UK and heads for the US. She's coming back. That's so exciting. And I don't know if you've seen this ship, but it is so unique looking. It's got this weird sort of snub nose design in the front. We've got like such a unique design all around. There's, there's not an angle on this ship that is traditional, except for maybe right up here, which even this, it's not quite traditional. So it's a beautiful design for a ship. Got a giant red shark fin. Who knows, man? I am so excited to get on board this ship one of these days. So after a hugely successful pre-inaugural season in the United Kingdom, Scarlet Lady has said goodbye to her home port of Portsmouth. The ship spent over a month in the UK as she welcomed thousands of sailors on board for cruises around the British Isles. So if you don't know, Virgin Voyages actually calls their passengers sailors while you're on board. So that's kind of a funny way to, uh, to go ahead and refer to, to your customers, to your passengers, but I like it, let's play along. Scarlet Lady experienced a long delay for her first sailing. The vessel had been scheduled to start operations early last year, but the plans fell through as the pandemic meant a pause in operations for the cruise industry. The ship is now underway, sailing outside the Bay of Biscayne on her way to New York City, from where she will be launching her career as the next industry standard in luxury cruising. When Scarlet Lady docked in Portsmouth in June of this year, she was the biggest cruise liner ever to call Portsmouth its home port. Virgin Voyages used the port as the base of operations for the UK-based Summer Soiree. The cruises proved to be a massive success for the thousands of guests that sailed on her, with thousands of people writing rave reviews about the new take the company has taken on cruising. It prompted the company to send a letter of thanks to the port of Portsmouth. So awesome news coming out of the UK, Scarlet Lady is on her way back to the US. And I have seen the reviews that that article was talking about and people are loving this ship. They're loving the food, they're loving the decor. And there was one little complaint I heard, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem in the US, and that is in Europe. The internet service was a little bad on Scarlet Lady, but I think that just has to do with the fact that this ship was designed to sail out of US ports and use US sided satellites. So that problem should resolve itself when she gets over here in the US. So don't forget to get subscribed to the channel if you don't wanna miss our giveaway coming up on Friday. And also our, our also, our current giveaway ends tomorrow at noon Eastern time. So make sure you go ahead and get entered. That link is in the description below. My apologies that we missed our upload yesterday. It's the first one I've missed. We were stuck in the airport. There were some planes, trains, and automobile issues, but we're back on track with midships. And until next time, we'll see you on the midships.